overhauling of two wheelers moped welcome viewers in this video you will know how to repair and overhauling of two wheelers moped exercise 13.01 measure any component by using micrometer and dial gauge hello viewers at the end of this exercise you will know how to measure the dimension of a component using inside micrometer measure the dimension of a component using outside micrometer measure the flatness straightness and ovality of a surface using a dial gog the purpose of a metric micrometer is to read an accuracy of 0.01 mm of an object inside micrometer the inside micrometer is similar to an ordinary outside micrometer but without the u frame the measurement is taken over the contact points as the thimble opens or closes the contact points get opened or closed to measure the approximate size of a hole or slot select a suitable range of telescopic range press the moving leg gently and lock the telescopic gauge place it inside the hole Release the pressure and allow both the legs to touch on the wall of the hole. Keep the telescopic gauge perpendicular to the diameter of the hole. Move the gauge slightly inside the hole and get the correct feel. Lock the telescopic gauge. Remove it gently from the hole. Transfer the measurement to an outside micrometer. and read it when the inside micrometer is closed when zero of thimble coincides with zero of the barrel it is capable of reading the minimum dimension of 25 mm Inside micrometer with a spacing collar and extension rod of 125 to 150 mm range. The size of the board is 125 mm plus 12 mm plus 1.5 mm plus 0.00 is equal to 138.50 mm. determining the distance between internal parallel surfaces while checking the parallelism between two surfaces of a deep bore a handle must be used along with inside micrometer in order to ascertain parallelism a minimum of two readings has to be taken determining the dimension of hole Fix the handle to the micrometer. Turn the micrometer thimble with the thumb and finger slightly so that the distance between the measuring faces is less than the hole size and pass the micrometer head through the hole. Open out the thimble further until you feel the anvil just touching the surface. Several thimble readings have to be made. before arriving at the correct size for exact measurement use the front anvil as the pivot move the body of the micrometer through the hole pass the anvil through the anvil holes several times to ensure that the measurement is being taken directly through the center lift the micrometer carefully from the hole and measure the dimension of the hole total reading is equal to reading on the barrel minimum measuring range similarly it is possible to take the inside measurement of a machined component by above method 
the hole size is more than 38 mm diameter, use a 12 mm spacing collar along with the existing extension rod. Loosen the clamping screw. Release the extension rod from the barrel head. Wipe the locating faces on the collar and barrel. Insert the extension rod into the 12 mm spacing collar and assemble to the barrel with the collar. Clamp the extension rod firmly with the clamping screw and check the size with the same size of an outside micrometer. Read the measurement taken on the barrel. A three-point internal micrometer is used for direct measurement of an internal diameter accurately and efficiently. It is also used to measure the diameter of a deep hole, the end of a blind hole. Dial gauges Dial gauges are instruments of high precision used for comparing and determining the variation in the size of a component. They cannot give the direct reading of the sizes like micrometers and vernier calipers. Dial gauge magnifies small variations in sizes by means of a pointer on a graduated dial. To check the straightness of shaft. Place the dial gauge over the surface of the cam shaft and check for cam lobe surface where by gently rotating cam shaft. If the dial gauge shows any variation between different points, take suitable corrective action. To check plane surfaces for parallelism and flatness. Introduce the dial gauge inside the cylinder bore and gently move across the cylinder in different directions. Note down the dial gauge readings and take suitable corrective action if necessary. To measure crankshaft eccentricity and ovality, place the crankshaft on a holding device and Gently move the dial gauge over the crankshaft journals, bearing journals, etc. Note down the readings in the dial gauge and take suitable corrective action if necessary. The various other applications of dial gauge are shown. Hello viewers, in this exercise you have learned how to measure the dimension of a component using inside micrometer, measure the dimension of a component using outside micrometer, measure the flatness, straightness and ovality of the surface using a dial gauge.